And you, well, you were just starting to kick it a little bit. I know you're a good rapper. I know you're a heck of a dancer. You got a little something you want to kick for us after this victory? No, actually, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> How good are you feeling, though? Obviously, this is an important win. I feel really good. You know, um, you know, I lost three times out here in California, and I wanted to get this W today, and I feel really good about it. That was a sweet right hook. Oh, yes, it was. No, it was a left hook. Left hook. I gave, right him, sorry, pa yeah. I gave him the Pacquiao left hook. <laughs> sorry, Pacquiao. I love you. <laughs> And you, you knew when that one landed, right? I mean, did you know as soon as it connected that? I knew it did, and I thought he was trying to go for a shot, but then I started so, slowly feeling him go down, down, down. I thought he was going to suck my toes or something, and then he was pretty much out. <laughs> you know, you kind of brought up um, the losses and stuff. We are kind of living in a cut culture. Mm -hmm. The pressure leading up to this fight, we talked about this about a month ago. Yeah. Um, is it still there? Is it alleviated? Just talk about the process in the fight. As in? Well, I mean... You know, leading it's up like to it, was, the, the, was the pressure there leading up to it, and now is it gone, or is it still there? How it are you was, feeling? It was actually more pressure uh, getting a W for my son, because I promised my son that I was going to get a win tonight, and I got it for him. But yeah, and that too, because I'm I'm not about to let somebody take me away from my home. So forget that, because that, that's what, the reason why I want to get that knockout tonight, and not leave it in the hands of the judges. Your brother Chitty's doing pretty well. Um, how does that help you having him in the fight game at the same time? Oh, it helps a lot, you know, having him by my side. It pretty much boosts me up, and if he's never in the corner with me, then I kind of like uh, it's like another part of me is gone if he's not with me. So that's why I always ha I need him around me, and same vice versa goes with him as well. But it feels really good having your brother, your little brother, but even though he's bigger than me, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> well, I just, I don't, I mean, it was one of those fights where you just sometimes you get in there and you get a victory that quickly. I mean, yeah. did you expect that it was going to be a tougher fight? I mean, you've seen Roger, he's been around for a while. I mean, this is a guy that can definitely go to work for a while. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be a lot tougher than a kick can hit harder. I'm not going to lie, look at my eye. <laughs> Look at that. That's a that's a nice one he gave me. Yeah, yeah and the kick hit hit hard and and he can kick hard as well. But uh, I knew he was gonna come in. I knew he's gonna come in uh, really aggressive like that. And we worked on this a lot with uh, my coaches, one kick Nick, Sergio Pena. We worked on this a lot. Uh, go for that uh, go for that hook or that uppercut because he's gonna come out dropping his hands. And I saw the opening and went for it. Yeah. Now you are coming off some losses. Is is there something now that you know in this camp that you did better than the ones where you didn't win the fight? You know what I'm saying? Did you something change in your mentality or something that you guys changed training wise? Uh, we brought in some wrestlers from one from Missouri and one from uh, North Carolina. We brought them in and they helped us out a lot. And then you know I ch changed out my whole training regimen a lot. And you know, Nick's uh, <laughs> telling, what do you say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my guy, my, yeah, my uh, the wrestlers that we brought in from Missouri. One guy, his name is Mark Dickman. He's a decorated wrestler. And the other one's uh, Jordan Mc Jordan Rinaldi. He's a he's a decorated wrestler. Even though he only stopped in high school. He went, uh, he, went, he went a long way, and also Tyler, my bad, don't, hey, I'm not trying to forget you, dog. I got you. One love right here. But yeah, yeah, we brought them in, changed out my whole uh, training regimen, and uh, we added some new stuff to it, and worked out a lot, worked out very well. And they talk a bit about the first round, because two of the three judges gave Roger Bull in the first round. You faltered in the past against some guys that weren't on paper as good a striker as you. Machi Atushko comes to mind. I mean, most people know you're a great striker, but don't really pay mind the fact that you really seem to feel your opponents out and then go to work. Talk a bit about your style and maybe some of the misconceptions people have about you as a striker. Um, well, some, some say I start off a little slow. It's just that I like to fill out my opponent before I go in and engaging. Um, and that's pretty much what, I, and I'm not going to drive myself away from that because that's just me, that's how, just how I am. And with the uh, Jujisco fight, it was that I got a little carried away with that one and I didn't even see him throw like any back fists in any of the videos that he was throwing and it was like very surprising to me for him to do that. Um, but that's pretty much it, you know. How do you reconcile being someone who's patient and technical in an atmosphere where it's essentially a 15 minute sprint to the finish? <laughs> oh shoot. Oh, hey, you know, I really don't know. It just comes to mind to me to tell you the truth. This does. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. But hey, bro, don't fix it. <laughs> yeah. If we're if we're filling silence here, so when are you going to get a Karma Loop sponsorship? Uh, who? Karma Loop. Who's Karma Loop? Karma Loop. You don't buy a Karma Loop? Karma Chidi, can you help him here? Let's call them right. Uh, it's it's a whole it's a whole baby, online I, retailer. I, obviously, I, I, you got. I rock, I rock forever Asbury all the time. But I mean, like obviously, you got the full street wear compliment here. You got the glasses. Carmelo's got everything you need. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you gotta talk to him. He he's the one. Your, your brother, your I, brother's I, clearly I, the fashion player. I, I still his style, but you know, <laughs> I rock it. I do it very well. 
it doesn't matter which one it is. It could be head rush, it could be it could be whoever. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still rock it, baby. That's how I am. Swag swag. Swag swag. swag, swag. <laughs>